Welcome to the internet-based investing for tax deed properties brought to you by TaxLeanInvestorSecrets.com. Uh, these trainings typically go by pretty quickly. This one is focused on internet-based investing, and so uh, if you need to, pause the video or you can always come back and listen to it again. It'll be short, uh, roughly about 10 minutes long. The first step is to go to www.naco.org. Uh, now this website is the National Association of Counties website. It's uh, one of the best tools out there for locating uh, county information, especially county websites. Now on the left hand side you'll see that there is a, a tab there for About Counties. If you uh, put your mouse over that tab, a drop down box will show you a, a number of different options here. You're looking for the Find a County option uh, that the arrow is pointing to. By clicking on that one uh, you can now see a, a color coordinated map of the US. Each one of the states is a separate link. Now for this example we're going to click on the state of Florida. Each state has its own website, uh, a web page, and, and that includes a list of all of the counties within that state and the population and the, the size and square miles of, uh, of each of those. Now the state map can be very helpful if you're trying to determine exactly where a county is located within a state. Now a little bit further down the page uh, we see more counties. For this example we're going to click on Hillsborough County. Each county also has its own page. Now this page includes contact information for the county, email addresses of some of the elected officials, uh, and more information. However, probably most importantly, it also has a link that will take you directly to the county website. This is the Hillsborough County website we're looking at right now. We're looking for information about tax sale properties. We're really we're looking for tax deed properties uh, specifically. Florida is one of the few states that actually sells both tax liens and tax deeds. Uh, and so their deed sales uh, take place uh, in many counties on a monthly basis. So the easiest way to find information about the tax sale is to make sure you're looking in the right department. This is usually delegated to the county treasurer or the tax collector. So we're looking for the county treasurer or the tax collector. In this case, we're going to click under other government websites. And right down here towards the bottom, we can see a link for the Hillsborough County tax collector. Now this is the, uh, the tax collector's actual website here. Um, the Resources we have right here available to us are great. Number one is the site search tool. A lot of times you can uh, type in a keyword such as uh, tax sale or lien or deed and it will pull up information uh, that, that uh, you can use to find out uh, when the properties are going to be sold or uh, more information about the sale. However, in this case, uh, we can actually see on the left hand side there is a link here for uh, property taxes. So we're going to click on this one and see what we can find out. Now right here in the middle, this is a, a section of the website that's probably helpful for citizens of the county, but right in the middle we can see that there is a link there for property tax certificates. Now by clicking on this, we see at the very bottom of this now exactly what we're looking for, and that is the tax deed sales and lands available information. Uh, it also says below that that there's a link to the clerk of the circuit court. So we know that the circuit court uh, in this county is the one that handles the tax deed sales. Now, by clicking on that, it took us to the, uh, the Clerk of the Circuit Court's home page, and we can see here, if we scroll down the page a little bit under Online Services, we can see Tax Deed Sales. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And right here, it takes us to uh, the current page we see right here, and on the top part of this, you can see, to view the current tax sale list, and lands available click here. This would be a pretty easy uh, little section to overlook. The click here is the actual link to view the the lists of lands that are available. So oftentimes these things are going to be very easy to look over. Uh, you need to dig into some of these websites and pay close attention to, uh, to every line. Now this takes us to a uh, to a tax deed search program. Uh, now this allows us to search by sales date which is probably going to be the easiest option for us. Now the search criteria is based on the date of the sale. That can be either past or future. Each date represents a separate sale. 
Now for the 1210 auction here, so again this is uh, set up under the, the sales date here for 1210, we can see a list of available parcels. Now the actual certificate number here is, uh, is a link to more information that the county has about this actual property. So we'll click on the one that the arrow is pointing to and we can now see that this is a property that has a base bid of $9,130. We can also see additional information including uh, more links. We can see a link here for the tax collector and we can also see a link for the property appraiser. Uh, we're going to click on the property appraiser because uh, the property appraiser's link will give us information about what that property is valued at. Now the appraiser information tells us a lot of things here. Uh, number one, we can see that uh, this is a Florida sale, but the mailing address is, is, in, uh, is in Philadelphia. So uh, it's obvious that the, the owner lives out of state. That can be a good thing for, uh, for increasing your chances of, uh, of acquiring property. Uh, we can see here that it's also uh, valued at around $130,000 as far as the assessed value goes and that it's uh, zoned as a single family residence. The sales history tells us that the property was gifted to someone in 1988 for $100 and it also tells us that it was sold uh, in 1989 for $65,000. Now scrolling down a little bit further we can actually see the physical address for the property as well as information about the building such as the year built, uh, construction type. We're going to want to copy that physical address to find out more information about what exactly this property is worth. We're going to enter that physical address uh, to the, the property that we just copied on, on one of the websites out there that we can use for valuating property values such as Yahoo Real Estate or it could be Zillow.com. We're going to take that and we're going to enter it in right there and we can see that this property has an approximate value range of $153,000 to $160,000. Again, the starting bid is $9,130. Now, you're also going to want to click on Zillow or look at some of these other links here to find out more information about this property. Through the Zillow link, we can now see a satellite image of the actual property itself. Based on the available numbers that we have, this property could easily have a profit potential of close to $100,000 depending on what the investor purchases the actual property for at the deed sale and uh, what the actual property value is based on the area.